What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to show you how we service a Cummins engine. Take a look. So man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard in Mississippi. Guys, we up underneath this come apart. <clears throat> We've been drained the oil out of it. it. Takes a three quarter inch socket on your ratchet Ooh, she tapped. Mm. Looks like I may have to loan him some muscle here in a minute. Damn it, boy. Hang on, I'm gonna go get something for this. Hey guys, this right here is way too tight. Way too tight. Mm. for that. That's what happens when you get it done at the speed co. Y'all know why I'm wearing these black gloves? If y'all watch my video, y'all should know. Why don't I wear black gloves on Friday, Bill? Because this is Friday, it's date night, and he wants to keep that manicure looking good. That's right. Alright, so well, that's all that is. We'll clean this oil plug off, check for metal on it, and then uh, we'll show you guys what we're going to do on the top side. Alright, let me stick this plug back in here and clean up the mess, and then we'll show you guys what we do with the oil filter. Can't hit the hole. You ever had that problem, Bill? Turn the lights out, I don't. Huh. Maybe the problem. Got too much light out here. I like it. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let me get my ratchet cotton back on here. Alrighty, that is done. Alrighty, we got all the dirty crap done underneath. As you can see right there is the oil filter. We're on the passenger side of the truck. While Bill has gotten position underneath here, we're going to show you guys what we're going to do to this bad boy now. Alright, usually what I do folks is I'll take uh, my filter wrench and loosen it up where I can still turn it by hand, but not so much where it's got oil running out the top. I take just a regular old punch and a good hammer. Punch me a good size hole in it. I might need to make it a little bigger and let it drain for a few minutes. that bad boy drain out and uh we'll show you guys what we do next all right as you guys can see she's got all of her incontinent tissues worked out and there ain't no more dripping and draining so we're gonna get that filter out of there and get the new and primed up Alrighty, 
I got us a open bottle of mobile Dale that. Pour this bad boy full. Everything likes a good swift drink. Mm-hmm. Slipping loose. Slipping loose is a bad thing. They say dry rubbers can hurt. Mm -hmm. I had that issue. All right, wild baby. Ready to go. All right, as you see, wild bills getting her started. All right, y'all, I've seen people take these filters when they're tightening them down and keep turning and turning and turning. There's no need for that. When you tighten one of these filters down, you get it hand tight, put your wrench on it, turn it a half of a turn. Usually with what room you've got to work, you can turn it a quarter of a time. That being said, put two bites on it and you're done. So you're gonna stick that filter wrench on there, turn her a half a turn, and we'll have that done. And we'll move to the other side. Guys, here's what a half a turn actually looks like. Just in case y'all wondering. That's a quarter of a turn. And that's another quarter of a turn. You gotta turn this wrench just a little bit to get it to where to grab a bite. And that's it. He's on there. We're over here on the driver's side. Uh, we fixed and pull the secondary fuel filter off. It's a Dave Co setup. Bill's gonna show you what we do. Well, first thing you wanna do is take this plastic cap off. This one's like got some wear on it. So you cannot use this part of this wrench on that cap. It won't ever work. So, got a pair of channel locks and stick on it. Break it loose. Make sure this has got an O-ring on it. Make sure you take that O-ring, toss it. Your new filter comes with one. All right. If you don't have some kind of drain pan, you will end up making a mess right here. Open this valve. And drain her down. filter wrench I promise it ain't gonna fall no further than that Another O ring right here you need to take off. Throw in the garbage. Comes with a new one of those too. While you got this off, wipe it down and give it a good cleaning. Inside and out. They give you an assortment of O rings in here. Of course, you're going to want the bigger one. Every guy wants to claim to wear the biggest one.
take the filter. You want to make sure this rubber piece comes off with the bottom one too. If you don't, you'll double stack them and guess what? She's gonna suck air. This is one thing I always like to do, keep the ring up top, make sure your O-ring is seated all the way around before you drop the ring down and start twisting it on. Make sure your O-ring hadn't rolled on you. It'll suck air if you don't. Now usually on these, I like to get them tight as I can with my hand, and I put the wrench on it and snug it down just a hair. Not much, you don't have to over torque it, you don't have to break your wrench tightening it down. Wasn't even a quarter of a turn. <coughs> We're just pouring clean diesel fuel back in the top of the filter. All right, folks, when you go to fill this back up, you can fill it all the way up to the top if you want to, your choice. It's gonna suck down a little bit, but when it starts running, it'll get back down to where it needs to be. If you ever look at one of these and it's way up here and full, it's time to replace the filter. Now, on this cap, you got an O-ring, Make sure you put a little lube on it. So that's all it is, diesel fuel. Twist her back on, you're ready to rock and roll. All right guys, there's a primary oil filter that's right here. I know it looks dirty. Um, we had a uh, uh, air air to air leak and the pipe had to be taken off and replaced. Of course that primary filter was right in the way so they went ahead and replaced it and that's just been a couple of days ago so we're not going to change the primary. <laughs> it's just simply a screw off filter, fill it back full of fuel, put the new one back on. So we're fixing to fill this bad boy full of oil and then we'll fire it up for you. We won't bore you with all 10 gallons of oil pouring in it. And that way it'll be a little quicker video because all right this is gallon number 10 going in here so as soon as we get it done we're gonna hit the uh fire up switch and see what happens all right what's she look like in there bill well looking like she's on the full mark all right let's hit that old yave that's uh, Spanish for keys, and let's see what happens. All right, guys, you see how easy it is to service your own, do your own oil changes and stuff on these come apart. Like always, if you like my video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down here below. We'll catch you guys next time.